Hello everybody out there with the future once again and I'm back here with another DVD update. It's DVD update 15.0 this time but before I get on to the DVDs I'm kind of giving a wider range of perspective to some people who haven't really seen my entire collection and everything. Um, I have just stuff packed everywhere. Everything that you pretty much see me review on this show is packed into this room and my bedroom in there. So, I mean, it's just full. And I recently brought this out and made this little display here in the corner with a lot of stuff that I had just, you know, hid away in my room, tucked away. Not hid, but tucked away in the room because I didn't have room. But I was like, heck, man, I want to display this stuff that I have. So, here it is. Um, if you haven't seen my... Uh, Beatles 50th anniversary of the Yellow Submarine Hot Wheels collection video. Go check that out. I posted it last. I want to give a big shout out to everybody who's um, tuned in, liked my videos, left comments, subscribed lately. I finally hit over 1,300 subs, so you got to love that. Um, the, anybody um, wondering right here, I did get a big shout out on the Stan Lee autograph, by the way, so peace to that guy. Uh, this is actually an Elmore Leonard autograph here on this sketch, and that's Bruno San Martin. Bruno San Martino and Killer Kowalski from Fenway Park picture autographed by both of them for any wrestling fans out there. Um, really cool stuff. And of course, you got to have my man Quentin right there. Quentin Tarantino up on there. And you got to have the Batman sign Han frozen in a Pop Tart. You know, I mean, if people haven't seen the last video, I did kind of show some of this stuff. I do plan on showing some of this stuff and have shown some of this stuff. So go check out some of my past videos. Um, but yeah, let's get on to the DVD update. Um, I'm going to make it about 12 minutes and change, probably at the most, because um, I think they kind of get monotonous and boring after a while if you last about 20 minutes like I've done in the past. Uh, I'm going to start picking some up here. Uh, the ones I got planned for showing off today are a lot of classics. I'm still in the infancy. I mean, you wouldn't think I'm in the infancy of my collection, but I am a classic movie lover, 30s, 40s, 50s, you know, and I'm still in the infancy, um, even up to the 60s, 70s. I love the older movies more than the new almost. I do love a lot of new movies as well. And as you can see, I love Godzilla and horror and all that stuff. But classic movies are something in my heart and something special about them. And if I'm going to have a library of movies like I'm having, I want the classics that people can say, do you have, just to say, Wizard of Oz? Well, yeah, I do now. This is actually one that I picked up lately, the 75th anniversary of The Wizard of Oz. I was actually watching this last night. I love this movie ever since I was a kid. Um, I love the commentary on here because it gives you a background on the story of how the original storybook was, you know, a little bit darker and more adult oriented. When they made the movie, they made it more kid friendly and less dark, took a lot of the darker elements like such as the Tin Man. Um, he kept getting all of his body parts uh, chopped off by the queen or the king, I can't remember who it was. And every time, since you can't die in the land of Oz, he would go to his local um, blacksmith and he would make him tin body parts until he was entirely made out of tin. You know, I wouldn't have known that unless I listened to the commentary on here. Um, they also had many actors that were meant to do the parts before Shirley Temple was actually um, thought to be a good ch choice for Dorothy. Uh, for just a little bit there, but, you know, her scheduling conflicts and the company she was with wouldn't let her out of her contract to do it. So, it ended up, thankfully, being Judy Garland. Um, and also, they thought about taking um, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, completely cut that scene where she sings that iconic song out of this movie. I did not know that. But, yeah, the 75th anniversary of The Wizard of Oz. You got a chance and you're a Wizard of Oz fan. Definitely pick that one up. Um, by the way, got it at Walmart for, I think, 10 bucks. Here's the Ten Commandments, Cecil B. DeMille, one of my favorite directors um, of all time, one of the greatest, um, and one of the best producers, too. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he produced this movie, too, the Ten Commandments. Uh, it, it holds a special place in my dad's heart because every year in the old Nokomis Theater where I live here in Nokomis, Illinois, they used to show Ten Commandments once a year. Uh, very cool, man. And this actually won an Academy Award for special effects. The special effects in this movie were groundbreaking for the time. I mean, before CGI and before practical effects got that great, for that matter. This was one of the first movies where you've seen some effects that were just unbelievable, like the parting of the Red Sea. And who who doesn't like the story of Moses? I mean, he comes down from a mountain. He's got a gray hair, gray beard. Charlton Heston, by the way, one of my favorite actors of all time, was Moses. And he is Moses still. 
Um, nobody could have played this part, but you just see some of the scenery on here from the back. I mean, it's just epic, an epic movie, um, and it was considered an epic. Um, here is some other epics that I got. This one, actually, for the budget and coming in low at the box office and then sparking a um, love affair between Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. This movie is very controversial and not the greatest movie of all time, Cleopatra. They thought, you know, this was going to be an epic. Also, uh, I think Elizabeth Taylor was suffering from health problems during the shooting of this. So, um, also has audio commentary. And I did forget to mention um, that there's commentary on the Ten Commandments, too. Um, you got to love any movie with um, commentary by historians or whoever. Um, it makes me tend to pick them up more when they see a special feature with a commentary than without. But if it's a great movie, I definitely am going to pick it up. But more to Cleopatra, you know, Elizabeth Taylor. Um, just look at some of the scenery on this. I mean, they spent an outrageous budget making this movie, and it came up real short in the box office. But you can see down there, even Martin Landau gets in on the commentary, which you got to love. Um, but nonetheless, it's kind of cool to see the scenery and stuff. Cleopatra, um, definitely in addition to anybody's library. Um, and you can see down there it's the 50th anniversary um, collector's edition as well. Um, and I very, I'm very um, keen to pick up any Academy Award winning classic or one that won the Academy Award over just a regular you know old movie. And here's Ben Hur, winner of 11 Academy Awards, including 1959 Best Picture, well deserved. William Wyler's Ben Hur, another Charlton Heston classic. You know he played in Ten Commandments and Ben Hur. Um, you almost get the movies almost confused sometimes if you're a fan of Charlton Heston. Um, you can see there's commentary there by uh, Gene Hatcher, a historian, and Charlton Heston is on the track, which I really, really love. I mean, you just can't go wrong with any Charlton Heston um, starred picture. Um, this is a very, very good movie, too, and one of the best chariot race scenes that will ever be made is in this movie. The chariot race is just unbelievable if there's one scene from this movie that you have if you haven't seen this movie just go check out the chariot race it's pretty much my recommendation to watch if you're not going to watch the whole movie watch the chariot race because it's just unbelievable and you can see they even put the chariot on the front because it's so iconic and yes winner of 11 academy awards 1959 best picture and what i thought was funny about that is this is a um another one that i picked up this one actually I picked up out of a Casey's General Store gas station, you know, convenience store. It's the winner of the 1969 Best Picture. It is none other than Midnight Cowboys, John Voight, Dustin Hoffman. One of the best movies I have ever seen. One of my favorite movies of all time, Midnight Cowboy. I'm not going to give away much about the movies, but just to let you know, you know, if I recommend a movie or say it's badass, definitely go check it out. And yeah, as you can see... Um, I bought this from like a Casey's General Store for like $3.99. When I seen they, I was just like, oh, they got DVDs. So, of course, I'm going to look. And I was looking through there, and there's Midnight Cowboy. And I was like, wow, I haven't seen this anywhere. Um, the special features are lacking on this movie, though. No commentary or anything, but just having the movie on DVD. I also was lucky enough at my local library to pick up the VHS for free. They were giving out a bunch of free VHSs in these cases. I've showed them off already. But, you know, I tore the library cards off. Trammers there. Thing with gosh. But, uh, oh, yeah, I also added a little shelf here so I can stack some more up. Uh, but it's still not really helping. I need to build a lot more shelving for all my stuff. But, yeah, Midnight Cowboy. Really glad to add that to the collection. Um, here's one that holds a place in my heart with my mother. And it's funny that it says Happy Mother's Day on here. It was a Mother's Day release. Um, a lot of these I picked up, you know, a month, months back. It's a two-disc 70th, two 70th anniversary edition of Gone with the Wind. And how can you go wrong with Gone with the Wind? I mean, this is an absolute classic. Winner of 10 Academy Awards, including the 1939 Best Picture. So we're going from 39 up to 20 years, Ben-Hur. And then 10 years after that, Midnight Cowboy. So it's like the evolution of movies there, as you can see. I mean, it's just unbelievable how many movies have been made over the years and just so many classics out there that I still need to get for my collection. But I really enjoyed this commentary by historian Rudy Bilmer. I actually listened to the commentary track on this for like the first disc. Very informative. Very, It's a very good movie. I mean, if 
people like, ah, I'm going to watch Gone with the Wind, check it out because it, it's definitely a very good movie. You know, Scarlett O'Hara, Rhett Butler. Scarlett O'Hara, actually, my dad um, named, my mom actually named a dog Scarlett O'Hara that we had. And she was a lovable dog and was there for all our lives. My dad actually ended up with him and took care of her for, not him, but took care of her for um, all her life until she passed away. But Scarlett O'Hara, you know, it holds a place in my heart, the name alone. And then being my mom's favorite movie of all time. What's funny about this Mother's Day edition, and I was going to show this one too, is I got this on Father's Day. And it was a happy Father's Day edition to and from. I bought this for myself because I am a father um, to a beautiful 12-year-old daughter, if anybody wondered. But a two-disc special edition here, DVD, Hangover Part 3. Now I have all three of the hangovers. Um, I've seen compilation discs where they have them all in one, but I'd rather have each separate one. Um, they're all very good, but you see they're hanging over one, two, and three. And just to mention, there is a lot of special features on here. Um, not a commentary track, though. I would really like to see some kind of commentary track on the Hangover movies. Um, I'm pretty sure part two and one do not have commentary either. Let me pull out just to, just to see. But yeah, this one doesn't. Maybe the first one does. Not sure. Uh, it's been so while well since I watched it, but it doesn't. So, yeah. Just happy, though, that they uh, have all three. Hey, I have all three Hangover movies now. One of the best comedy uh, trilogies that I've ever seen in my entire life. They're all great. One, two, and three. Gotta love Chow. Gotta love Alan. They're my favorites. Um, but yeah, if they'd make commentary tracks to that, that'd be sweet. You can see all my John Waynes. There's some wrestling. Yeah, there's some board display on my entertainment center here. The reason I still have this old ass TV too, because it fits the entertainment center. I've had people diss my TV. I'm not going to get rid of this entertainment center just because the TV's older, you know, ditch everything and get a new entertainment center because I like this entertainment center. And you can see here that I have my Xbox 360, my PS2. Here's all my games up here. Not a huge, huge collection of games, but I am a big gamer. Um, also, you can see I got the PS3 there. Uh, NBA, 2K, NBA 2K16, 360 version, still good. Um, now we're getting into 1223, guys. So, actually, what I want to do now is wrap it up because I don't want to run out of time here. Um, I need a new SD card so I can run longer videos. But I do want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching this update. I was glad to at least get some titles named off here. But yeah, remember to subscribe, comment. Um, I always like talking about this stuff with everybody. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. And yeah, shout out to everybody out there. And as always, till update 16.0 or another video, I have a card unpacking video too that I may be getting underway with. But yeah, until then guys, thanks for watching and peace out.